Oh, good morning, beautifuls. 9.50. <laughs> Thought it was nine. It's 9.50. Just 50 minutes off. No big deal. But I posted my podcast and that's not even on my to-do list. I don't... I just did something and I don't even get to mark it off of my to-do list. I'm very unsatisfied right now. I thought I had written it in my to-do list and I had it. And now, like, what was the point of even doing it? I'm gonna go shower and then see when Colleen wants to film. Very upset at the moment. We'll get through this together though. How does it feel to do nothing all day long? How does it feel to just lounge around in different sunbeams and sleep and be cute. Mm, that's nice. That does feel nice, that sunbeam. Can we stay here all the time? No, I get bored within 20 minutes. I was supposed to be in the shower. You distracted me! I was supposed to be taking a shower! Colleen just posted her mukbang of us and in it we talk about uh, why I stopped working for her. It's cause I quit. There's a lot, it's a long, long story. But in it, we talk about how before I worked for her, I was trying to apply for the police academy and I failed the lie detector test. I feel like I've told this story so many times, but people online are like, Rachel, you've got to fight with the guy. I thought I've said this many a time. I, like, I might've said it like five years ago. Yeah, I was applying for the police academy and I had to take a lie detector test. And the first thing the guy said to me was like, if I told you I ate an orange today, would you believe me? And I was like, sure. And he was like, well, of course, cause I've never lied. I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, I've never told a lie before. Cause lying is disgusting. And I was like, you've never told a lie. And I thought he was joking at first. I was like, no, I've never told a lie. And I was like, that's a lie. <laughs> he was like, how dare you? And I was like, how dare you? Why are you lying? He's like, I'm not lying. I don't lie. And I was like, you've been two years old before, haven't you? And he was like, yes. And I was like, then you've lied. And I was like, maybe as an adult, you try really hard not to lie. He's like, no, all through my childhood, all as an adult, I've never lied. And I was like, what if you're, I noticed he was married. I was like, so if your wife walked in and said, do I look pretty? And the dress wasn't like that cute, but like her soul was pretty. Would you tell her it was a cute dress and she looked cute, but like, even though she kind of wasn't. And he's like, of course I would tell her it was an ugly dress. I was like, that's so mean. <laughs> he was like, no, it's, so it's, it's telling the truth, so it's nice. And I was like, well, you have lied before, sir. And I immediately just started fighting him. And then in it, they said thing, he said things like, how, have you ever cheated on a test? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, how many times? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> You have to give an exact answer. I was like, I don't have an exact answer. I didn't count. He's like, have you ever lied to an authority figure? I was like, yeah. He's like, what? How dare you? I was like, teachers and parents count as authority figures, right? He's like, yeah. And I was like, of course I've lied to them. He asked how many songs I've illegally downloaded. And he said, I had to give an exact answer. I got an email. I had to give exact answers of how many times I've cheated on tests, how many songs I've downloaded illegally, how many times I've lied to an authority figure. And I was like, I can't give you exact numbers. He's like, then we can't proceed. And I was like, well, I'll give you an exact number, but it will be a lie because I don't know the exact number. Therefore I cannot truthfully give you the exact number. And so we would just go back and forth. He's like, this isn't gonna work if you don't cooperate. And I was like, I'm trying to cooperate. I'm trying not to lie, but I'm letting you know if I answer this question, it will be a lie. <laughs> and so, um, I failed the lie detector test. <laughs> But that guy and I were just, we fought the whole time because I couldn't truthfully tell some, someone something because I didn't have the answer. And I don't know was not an acceptable answer, apparently. Because if he had done the lie detector test and says, do you know the answer to this question? I would have said no, and it would have been the truth. And also he just said he had never lied and that just set me off. So thankfully I failed because it put me on a different path in life. And I'm looking back now, I'm glad I didn't take that path. <sighs> but yeah, so. I guess I hadn't told that story, so there it is. Or I have told it, it's just been a long time. It's in the videos from years and years ago. I just filmed a video with Colleen, I'm at her house. Her and Flynn had to go upstairs to get his car, naturally. And so I took over making Flynn's snack. So when you wake up from a nap, apparently you get a snack and I'm really jealous about that. I wish every time I woke up from a nap, someone just started preparing me a snack. A little jealous. Bought a tree. Don't you dare pee on that. Investigations, great. So I realized today, Pa, give me Pa, good boy. Thank you, thank you for not peeing on the tree. Oh, you're hungry, that's why you're staring at me. So I realized today I hadn't gotten a tree yet. I haven't smelled it because I was wearing a mask when I was at the farm. It doesn't, it doesn't smell. Does it smell? Everything has a smell, mom, if you smell hard enough. I guess so. Girl hit a wall. 
I ate dinner and then it's 5.30. I can't move. I'm too, oh, that's a good stretch. Good boy, good big stretches. But I just like, I can't, I don't want to do anything. Come here, huh? come cuddle. Good boy, sit. Not on me, not on me. Anyway, I had a wall. Do you need to go outside? Uh, oh, I'm not being up. I'm gonna decorate my tree a little later. Um, I never did that pickup at Best Buy that I made like a week ago. Oh, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna lay here. It's 5.30, so it's way too late to have coffee. My coffee cutoff is like 4.30. I don't know what to do with myself. How do I get energy without consuming caffeine? Blaze? I don't know, I already had my zoomies for the night. I don't know what to do with myself. I have to film cameos, I have to work out, I have to pick up my stuff at Best Buy, I wanna decorate my tree, I need to cuddle my dogs. I have time for all of this, but do I have the energy for it? Taste the question. I'll lay here for 10 more minutes and then I'll get up and do things. Welcome back. So kind of you to join us. What, the, what are you doing? Snoop, do not eat my furniture. Don't eat those things. You are mischievous at the moment, aren't you? I bought myself a present. Oh, I bought myself an Apple Watch phone stand. Cause at night, my stand gets like all cluttered with the remote and the phone and the charger and the camera. So I bought myself a little stand. Oh, that's cute. That works. There you go. And then the remote goes there and the camera goes there and I'm set. That looks good. I like my purchase. I'm proud of myself. me off more that's false but this pisses me off when i do curbside pickup and i see that the person's like comfortable like just going up to people's windows we bought them for mascots whatever they hand me their stuff i always try and tip them because they went above and beyond the normal job that they signed up for no one wanted to do curbside no one wants to do that so i always try and tip them a lot of the times they're like oh thank you and they should take you whatever it's a normal thing you, tipping is normal in america and it pisses me off when they go i'm not allowed to take that I'm like what their bosses don't allow them to accept tips what let the people get money Makes me so angry. I have acne patches all over my face. I have a pimple I just picked. It was a scab. It wasn't a pimple, it was a scab, which is why I didn't have an acne patch. My retainer's in, and now we are going to attempt to put a nasal right nose strip on. If this isn't the definition of sexy, I don't know what is. I'm gonna read the instructions. She likes to be educated. Oh good, there's pictures, because I wasn't actually gonna read anything. To clean my nose, a lot of work. She looks really happy about it. She looks really happy about her nose strip. Okay, I'm gonna go, I just put moisturizer on because I forgot I was doing this. I'm gonna go take my moisturizer off my nose and attempt this business. Oh my God, for the first time ever, I feel like I can properly breathe through my nose. Is this how much air I'm supposed to be getting? Stop. Is this how much air is supposed to be going through my nose on a regular basis? I look freaking gorgeous. Like, that is so much oxygen. Like the boogers are doing a dance because they don't, there's so much space on the dance floor right now. I could breathe forever. I won't ever die now. I'm so mad that I haven't gotten this sooner in life. Are my nose holes too small? Is my nose too narrow? Should it be wider? Cause this is definitely making it wider. Like I can feel that my nose, it is, it's 100%, I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to pull it out to be bigger. That feels weird. <laughs> wow, wow. I did not expect that. Okay, well, now that that is dealt with, I can't believe this. Why did no one tell me to get this sooner in life? Oh my God, I'm so happy. Just, I guess it's the little things. 2020 completely did a 180 for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to bed happily. And make sure you check out my main channel video I did with Colleen. Baking Christmas cookies. We made peanut butter reindeer looking cookies. It was cute, it was fun. I'm not gonna tell you the results. They were cute though. That is a result. I love you lots. You're wonderful. Do something weird tomorrow. Do something you wouldn't normally do. As long as it's a positive thing. Like don't go punch a human being, but like crawl instead of walk. I don't know, do something weird, who cares? Why not? YOLO. <laughs> it's a hand motion with it.